good day and welcome to my channel i am dr k we will be discussing the extraction of iron iron is the second most abundant metal on earth after aluminium the only pure form of iron is meteorite apart from that iron is in combination with other elements and is not in its free state some of the ores of iron are hematite, magnetite, limonite, iron pyrite, siderite, and so on. Because iron is not in its free state, there is need for it to be in its free state, and that is where there is need for extraction. So that is the main reason why we need to extract metal. So that we can be able to make good use of it. Now, how do you extract metal? This is the question we'll be answering as we proceed in this lecture. Iron is extracted by the reduction of its oxide in a blast furnace. So this it took place in several steps and processes. So you can see the picture of a blast furnace. The iron ore is roasted in air to produce iron theory oxide. Whatever ore that will be used, it has to be roasted first. And when it is roasted in air, an iron theory oxide is gotten, then the black furnace reaction can now proceed. Now, how does this happen? The first thing that happens is this. The iron theory oxide is mixed with coke and limestone so after it is mixed with coke and limestone it is then poured from the top of the blast into the blast furnace now the time the blast furnace has a temperature of about 2000 degrees celsius so that's the temperature present in the blast furnace and the iron ore and the remaining mixtures are subjected to this high temperature so that iron can be finally extracted after this has been done a blast of hot air is passed into the mixture of iron ore and some other substances that i have mentioned it is passed from the bottom of the furnace take notes and it is passed through small pipes known as two years so these two pipes allow the passage of hot air into the blast furnace so now i will divide the reactions in the blast furnace into several steps into several steps now the first step that happens in the blast furnace is the formation of carbon 4 oxide this takes place at the bottom of the furnace and it is the stage one of the reaction it is an exothermic reaction because it is giving off in the process now this giving off during the process of the formation of carbon 4 oxide yield is gives the energy for the reaction to continue now what happens next in stage two of the reaction is that the carbon 4 oxide moves up and react with coke again when we are talking of coke here we are talking of carbon so it moves up and react with coke it moves up a bit now at that point where it moves to there is less oxygen there so it will now react with coke and when it reacts with coke it will now give back to carbon monoxide carbon monoxide will be formed in the process this is an endothermic reaction because it is absorbed in the process so after this has taken place then we get to stage theory of the reaction in the stage theory of the reaction this is where the actual reduction takes place that's the reduction of the iron ore so in this case here the iron ore we are dealing with is iron theory oxide that's fe2o3 so this is in the stage theory it is when it is finally reduced to 
ion so in this case ion can now be in its free state this reaction in state 3 is an exothermic reaction because it is given off in the process after this has happened the ion that has been extracted will now sink to the very bottom of the furnace because it is very heavy so what happens to the ion we'll talk about that later now stage four of the reaction in during the stage four of the reaction there is what we call the decomposition of limestone limestone will be reduced to calcium oxide and carbon four oxide and the function of the limestone in this reaction is to reduce the impurity is to remove the impurity in the form of slag yes the impurity present in ion is to so it is meant to reduce it in the form of slag that's how it happens so now that is step four now let's talk about step, step five of the reaction in the step five of the reaction silica which is an amphoteric oxide react with calcium oxide the basic oxide to form calcium trioxosilicate that's c-a-s-i-o-3 in stage four of the reaction i mentioned something that the function of the limestone is to reduce impurity in the form of slag it is this this slag we are talking about there, the major component of it is calcium trioxosilicate now at the bottom of the furnace what happens is that there are two taps one tap from which the ion that has been gotten that has been extracted so the ion passes through that tap and the other tap this is where the slag passes out of the blast furnace this reaction continues it continues like that and ion is being extracted so it, it can now be used for several purposes it will be used for in another video we'll describe what happens to the ion gotten from the blast furnace after the after the molten ion has been gotten what happened to it that will be an, our next discussion make sure you click the subscribe button and tap the notification button too so, the, so that you can get update on new videos i release on this channel thanks for watching see you in the next video